tonight on BBC London News. A new report has expressed concern over a number of lectures given by Islamic speakers to London University students. Student Rights, an independent research group, claimed a worrying number of speakers who've expressed radical views in the past have been invited to events by student societies. The universities say they have no strict rules to prevent extremists from addressing students. Here's our education reporter, Mark Ashton. Sir Hale has first-hand experience of radical views. He once held them and admits he might have acted on them. Now de-radicalised, he worries about the growing number of extremist preachers showing up on university campuses. You only have to bring in an extremist speaker who might just be talking about, um, I don't know, um, why you should be good to your fellow Muslim brother. But then people will then go on, you know, moderate Muslims will then be like, hey, I like this guy. So then they'll actually go home and start searching him up and start listening to more of his talks. So whilst necessarily that extremist speaker who holds those extreme views might not be verbalising those, those views at that moment in the university, it still is having pretty much the same effect as if they were. This report logged on-campus events at universities involving extremist speakers between 2012 and 2014. It found 183 out of 400 nationally happened here in London. Four out of the five universities hosting the most events were here in the capital. To date, Queen Mary University of London has hosted the most events. The gun crime. This man, Haytham Al Haddad, was one of their speakers. This is one of his online sermons, preaching sexism and homophobia. Man should not be questioned why he, okay, hit his wife, because this is something between them. The greatest concern is that um, speakers with a, a really uh, extreme and, and often a very harsh interpretation of their religion are promoted as sole religious authorities to students without any kind of challenge. Now, universities often say that um, their campuses should be places where debate takes place, and, and we agree with that. But unfortunately, in too many of these cases, these speakers were simply promoted as um, a sole speaker on a, an unchallenged platform. Uh, and that really is something that we think universities should be concerned about. Because in extremists, it can lead to this. Brustam Zimani, sentenced to 22 years in jail for plotting to behead a policeman. Or Roshanara Chowdhury, brilliant student turned martyr. She attacked the MP Stephen Timms armed with knives. Both had been very quickly radicalised, seemingly unnoticed. King's College London, Kingston University and the University of Westminster are also among those hosting the most events. All the London universities in this report say they take their responsibility to protect students and staff very seriously. Queen's add they have a code of practice on freedom of speech based on national guidelines, but all events that are staged here are subject to rigorous checks. The Home Office told us as part of its prevent anti-terror strategy, new guidance has now been issued to universities, insisting speakers with extremist views must not go unchallenged. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News.